Live from Arkansas's breaking news leader, Fox 16 News at 9 starts now. We start with breaking news tonight in Faulkner County, where a hit and run crash has killed a 12 year old boy. Good evening. I'm Donna Terrell. I'm Kevin Kelly. We're told the boy was riding an ATV at the time on Burgess Lane in Wooster. That's where we find Fox 16's Caroline Whiteman. She joins us live. And, and Caroline, I'm curious, this is a hit and run accident, but do we have anybody in custody right now? We do, Kevin. Burgess Lane is still blocked off. Law enforcement are still out here on the scene. Information keeps coming in, and we're still trying to piece together exactly what happened. Faulkner County Sheriff's deputies and Arkansas State Police collect evidence and try to reconstruct a hit and run accident. Deputies say a 12 year old boy riding an ATV got hit and killed by a possible drunk driver. Tonight, that driver is in jail thanks to a passenger in the vehicle. The call came from a gentleman who was a brother of someone who was actually in the vehicle, in the suspect vehicle. And he stated that my brother was in a, a passenger in a truck and it, it hit a child. And he jumped basically, uh, according to the brother, forced his way out of the vehicle and called his brother. We in turn called the brother. The brother stated he was in fact a passenger of the, of the suspect vehicle. Now, I just got this information from Major Andy Schock with the Faulkner County Sheriff's Office. He says that Moralton police were able to catch up with the driver. He's a 27 year old man from Springfield, Arkansas. His name is Michael Fowler. He is in custody tonight. Uh, we're waiting. Uh, law enforcement is performing a toxicology report to confirm if Fowler was indeed intoxicated at the time of the accident. But again, information still coming in, trying to piece everything together. As we learn more, we'll make sure to bring it to you. Reporting live in Faulkner County, Caroline Whiteman, Fox 16 News. Hey, Caroline, not sure if you can answer this question, but how far away did they locate Fowler from the actual hit and run accident? Uh, and, and was it a time consuming process? All I know is the accident happened here on Burgess Lane um, and the driver was picked up by Moralton police. Um, the accident happened around 530 and I'm told by uh, Major Andy Schock with the Faulkner County Sheriff's Office that that suspect was in cu custody uh, sometime before 730. So again, they attribute all of this to the passenger in that vehicle, forcing his way out of the truck, calling for help, calling 911. Actually, uh, Major Andy Schock says a young girl here on Burgess Lane witnessed the accident, called 911, but really wasn't able to give a very good description of the vehicle. So they attribute the driver being in custody tonight from that passenger in the truck. Yeah, good information. Obviously, this is a developing story. We'll check back in with you on Fox 16 News at 10. Caroline Whiteman live in Faulkner County. We also have a breaking news update to pass along. North Little Rock firefighters put out an apartment fire on Arrowhead Road. This all started during Fox 16 News at 5. The fire department tells us a washer dryer unit actually caught fire in one apartment. Smoke then spread to three other apartments before firefighters could put out the flames. There are no injuries. New at 9, the November ballot may be short one proposed amendment. Today, the Arkansas Secretary of State's office made a decision concerning a challenge to the amendment that would allow casinos in four counties. But then, late in the day, the office appears to have had a change of heart. A confusing day for opponents and proponents of the proposed Nancy Todd Casino Gambling Amendment. First, Secretary of State Mark Martin ruled the ballot title is not fair and complete. But his ruling also says he can't find the proposal violates the Constitution or any other laws if approved by voters. This is the first time a certain challenge of this, how this works, has sort of come about. So this will set the precedent. Then just minutes after we spoke with Alex Reed, spokesperson for Martin, the Associated Press announced it received a new statement from his office saying the title problem would knock it off November's ballot. Either way, Nancy Todd says she's not backing down. It's not going to slow us down. We fully expected that there would be challenges. I knew that the day I stepped foot here and started this process that we would have challenges. 
We expected challenges. We have a law firm that's accustomed to the challenges, so we're just proceeding. Stop Casinos Now Committee Chairman Chuck Lang put out this statement saying, We are pleased today. The Secretary of State has agreed with our petition that Nancy Todd's ballot title is not fair or complete. I believe that ultimately that the people in Arkansas will have a chance to decide this issue November 6th. And Nancy Todd is still gathering signatures of registered voters and face a deadline Monday to reach the 78,000 plus she must have to get the proposal on the ballot. Now, Arkansas's certified most accurate forecast with meteorologist Chad Garneau. Well, it didn't take long for Mother Nature to give us more of that summer-like weather around central Arkansas. We topped out into the low 90s in Little Rock. Other places only got up to the 80s. 89 in Arkadelphia, 87 in Pine Bluff. You had a good amount of cloud cover there. And also a few light showers help keep those temperatures down where they didn't see much of the cloud cover. You can see Mina, they got to 95. Well, they got to 97 in Russellville. Now, as we look at temperatures right now, we're no longer into the 90s. Thank goodness. We're still into the low 80s, 81 degrees in Little Rock with clear skies, 82 in Jacksonville, 86 in Russellville and 79 in Arkadelphia at this hour. Now, as we look at the satellite and radar feed, well, we don't have much to talk about. As I just mentioned a second ago, we got clear skies here in Little Rock and most of central Arkansas. However, you go all the way up to the northern part of the state. There's actually a tiny little storm in Marion County. Actually, there's a severe thunderstorm warning with it. It's it's very, very small. It will fade away within the next hour or two, but we are keeping a close eye and we'll have more for you coming up in the next 10 to 15 minutes on that storm. Now, here's a look at your hour by hour forecast for Thursday as you're waking up, starting your day, grabbing that cup of joe. 72 degrees in the morning time at 6 o'clock if you are up that early, but if you are out more at a better hour, for me anyway, I know some of you are waking up at 8 o'clock and maybe some of the students who are trying to get their last couple hours in of sleeping in before they have to go to school next week. Mostly sunny skies at this point, 75 degrees, 87 by 10 o'clock, and before you know it, we're at lunch hour and it's already 94 degrees. Coming up, I'll be talking more about when we're going to go back to the 80s and when we'll have some strong thunderstorms possibly in our neighborhood in central Arkansas. 320 million dollars. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot of money. That's how much is up for grabs for tonight's Powerball jackpot. Ticket sales stopped at 9 p.m. That was seven minutes ago. Sorry. But for those of you who already purchased a ticket, stay tuned. We'll have those winning numbers for you coming up on Fox 16 News at 10. Now, tonight's jackpot, by the way, is the fourth largest jackpot in Powerball history. Fox 16's Kelly Dudzik is live in Little Rock, where someone may have purchased that winning ticket today. Was it you, Kelly? <laughs> It was not Donna and Kevin, but just minutes ago, the machine shut down, so it's too late right now to whip buy that winning ticket. But in less than two weeks, Arkansas will debut a new statewide lottery that promises big payouts and better odds than Powerball. Tonight's $320 million Powerball jackpot, expected by lottery officials to grow to $400 million if no one wins tonight, has Little Rock Lotto players excited. If I could hit for $350 million, you see a lot of millionaires in the Watson family. Claudie Watson wants to win so he can help his family. I couldn't even attempt to spend this much myself. I'm an old man, but my kids, grandkids, and great-grandkids, they remember me. Now the State Lottery Commission is banking on attracting players like Watson to the new natural state jackpot sold only in Arkansas coming six nights a week starting August 27th, offering jackpots of at least $25,000. I think the players will play both games. It's a little bit different. It's a smaller jackpot game. Your odds are better, however. You know, the jackpot's not as large. Here at Joe's Groceries in West Little Rock, they're all ready to go for the launch of the natural state jackpot. The forms are already here. What we will have is, is more likely than not uh, Arkansas money paying for the tickets and an Arkansas player winning the money. And that's what they've, they've, uh, our players have requested since the beginning. Lotto director Bishop Woosley thinks the dollar a ticket game should add $3 million in scholarship money every year for Arkansas students, and Watson likes that idea. With $350 million, I might contribute to my high school and college. We'll bring you the winning numbers for tonight's Powerball drawing on Fox 16 News at 10. Live in Little Rock, Kelly Dudzik, Fox 16 News. Kelly, I like Claude Watson's attitude. He's going to share that money with his family and school and all of that. I hope he wins. <laughs> I do, too. Well, let me ask you this. Are there any other new games in the works that they're telling you about? 
There are. I got a super secret sneak peek this afternoon, and I can tell you there are some pretty cool scratch off games in the works. Really? So, other chances to become a millionaire. Love mm -hmm. it. All right, Kelly, we'll check back with you at 10. And one more friendly reminder, don't forget, we will have tonight's winning Powerball numbers for you coming up tonight on Fox 16 News at 10. And you can also go to fox16.com if you would like to sign up to get the lottery numbers sent to your email or your smartphone just in case nobody wins that big jackpot and it grows to $400 million or more for the next round. I'm in an office pool. So every time, I, I play every single time. Yeah, how's that, how's that working it's out for working you? Out it's not well working out very well I mean, and this has been going on for a long time now. Patience, patience. <laughs> That's what they say. Yeah. <laughs> Illegal immigrants working for the city of Pine Bluff. Coming up at 930, why city leaders say they were kept in the dark by contractors they hired to bring in workers. And teachers going back to school early, what they are learning about handling dangerous situations on campus. And AT&T wants to remind all drivers, texting and driving just don't mix. Next on Fox 16 News at 9, how you can can join Donna and myself in taking the It Can Wait pledge. You're watching Fox 16 News at 9 with Donna Terrell, Kevin Kelly, Sports with David Rath, and Arkansas's certified most accurate forecast with Chief Meteorologist Jeff Baskin. This is Fox 16 News at 9.